Hey guys, how you guys doing? It is Arnie back with another video and today we are going to take a look at the most anticipated, the most requested video of all times everybody. Maple 3C, Meso Sky everybody. So a lot of you guys have been asking me this for years, right? For years you have been asking, how do I farm Mesos in Maple Story, right? Uh, what are my tips and tricks? What are my secrets of farming Mesos? So first of all, without further ado, I'm gonna tell you all of my secrets of farming Mesos. It works on any character, it works on any level and any range, right? It does not matter you are a returning player, you are a beginner who's just starting off the game, you are a veteran who is already in the game for quite some time, doesn't matter, right? As long as you are playing Maple Story, these are all the tips and tricks that you can utilize. As always in this video, there will be three different tiers, right? We have the easy mode, right? The easy tier, or the, or the normal tier, and also the hard tier. So it will be separate in these three categories categories right so of course the hard tier is gonna earn my more, more mesos but it's gonna be a little bit more difficult but i'm gonna teach you the tips and tricks on how to counter those stuff um this video is gonna be relatively long and before we move on i'm gonna stress that this requires time and dedication all right as far as uh free to play players you need time and dedication right so i would devote myself at least 30 minutes to one hour to farm mesos right um, don't count in the dailies, right? Don't count in the dailies, just farming mesos will be 30 minutes to an hour. You, you can go on for long hours, like two hours or four hours, it's up to you. But I will devote myself 30 minutes to one hour per day, right? So without further ado, let's get on with the most easiest method of all times. The most easiest way to farm mesos. This is the easy mode, okay? The easy mode to farm mesos is basically to do easy and normal bosses of course right but they have a daily limit do know that they have a daily limit of once per day so you have to select each of the bosses carefully to go on which bosses you want to go so for example you go for normal zakub or you go for a uh, normal magnus hila and etc all of them will drop this item called intense power crystal so what do you do with the intense power crystal all you have to do is go to the free market over here so i'm gonna direct you to the free market right so click on the free market talk to the collector over here you can basically sell 60 per week okay 60 per week it resets every week okay so all you need to do is scroll all the way down to find your crystals over here and basically you just sell them and you get mesos instantly right you can do this every day you can sell 60 per week good mesos everybody very fast mesos right so for example if you are doing hard bosses or even normal bosses you can't solo it never mind Go in with a party, although the mesos is lesser, but you still get mesos. It still count as mesos, everybody. So for example, this one, I went in with the hard lotus, right? Uh, a party of six. So currently I'm divided by six, so I get eight mil. Never mind, got eight mil already. So good mesos, everybody. So that's the first way of getting mesos. All right, now for the second method of farming mesos. This is still in the easy mode, okay? Still remember the bosses you kill? Right, so most of the bosses will drop accessories. For example, in Zakum, right? If you were to do Zakum every day, you are bound to be able to get these two accessories, right? Let's take a look at how much accessories selling in the auction house. So for uh, right now, everything is going to be uh, sold on the auction house. So for example, you want to search for accessories. I would just go search for all, right? Uh, or you can go search for face accessories. You can take a look at this. See. These are the Zakum accessories that is dropped by Zakum. 7.5 mil, right? So if you're lucky, you get an accessory, you can basically sell it. And if I were to search for a belt, um, so this is a Chaos Zakum belt. This only drops from Chaos Zakum. It's 29 mil, perfect. And also this one is drops from Ping Bean. Ping Bean belt, 5 mil, right? So every day you're doing bosses, you will be bound to get all these accessories. There are tons of accessories that you can basically get from the bosses over here. You can basically sell them and by looking at the price and depending on how much is it, you can basically sell them and earn your mesos, right? Very nice indeed. All right, so now this is the third method of farming mesos. So this requires a little bit of spell tracing and cubing, but I'm gonna put this in the medium tier, everybody. So medium tier requires you to do a little bit more, 
But you still remember the equips or the accessories you got from bosses? Now you're going in a little bit more by spell tracing and scrolling them before you sell them, right? So this is gonna basically earn a lot of muscles, right? Especially when there's a new job that's launching, right? Um, people will basically go and buy all those equips uh, when, when it, the new job releases. So make use of spell traces uh, fever time make use of star force events like 30 percent off or 5 10 stars right make use of those events those events comes and goes so you have to like stay tuned to the website uh, for every sunday to see what other events that's coming on sunday maple so all you need to do is do not scroll or spell trace the item first Except it is, if it is a, uh, for example, if it is a bowman, of course you have you can scroll it first because bowman you can use dex only, right? So for example, if it's an accessory, best thing to do is cube it first, right? Cube until you get two line stats, right? Especially epic, right? Epic is good enough. This one I just randomly cube it using a, a purple cube and it just got three lines. So uh, I wanted to show epic, but it just got unique. Right up. So basically, you just cube it first until you get two lines of epic potential, which is either any stat, right? Uh, dex, uh, 6%, dex, 3%, or luck, 6%, uh, luck, 3%, stop. That's it. Then only you scroll and spell trace your accessory because accessory can be equipped in any characters, any job, right? As long as you get two lines, stop. Then only spell trace it. This is the best way and the fastest way to farm mesos, right? So for example, if you were to go into the auction house to basically look for accessories that are okay, for example, I'm just gonna look for strength six percent and also a strength of three percent, right? So let's take a look at two lines, right? Strength of six percent and three percent. Let's take a look at the price. So the cheapest price cost 40. Two mil. This is good method. So as I mentioned, do not scroll the item first, right? Do not spell trace the item first. Do not start first. Do not spell trace them first. Scroll a uh, cubit first. Once you get the stat, like at least two lines of stats, right? And then you just sell them, right? That is the best thing you can do, right? This is the best thing. Or you can just basically scroll them. You see, a uh, fully scroll one, it costs quite a hefty amount of mesos, right? So it's good money, everybody. Okay, fourth way of farming mesos, right? A lot of you guys might ask me, how do I get more spell traces, right? Some of you guys might want to know how to get spell traces because they're good to sell, right? Do theme dungeons. Each of the theme dungeons that you did, right? Or have you completed? They will give you spell traces. They will allow you to choose either spell traces or mastery bows. So if you were to do team dungeons, right? You will be able to get all of them. You will be able to choose some spell traces or even uh, mystery books. Then you can basically sell them, right? All right, you can sell them or you can even use them. Let's take a look at the spell traces of how much do they sell, right? You can basically type in spell traces, right? All right, spell trace. You can take a look at that. It sells for two. It sells for three k, right? During fever time, it's gonna sell a little much higher, everybody. So keep it first, right? If you have a lot of spell traces in the game, sell it. If you don't have a lot of spell traces in the game, keep it and use it first. I'm gonna put this in the easy tier because, as always, it is very normal to get spell traces and it's very easy to get it, right? Okay, so now this is the fifth way of earning muscles. This is gonna be a hot tier, all right? We are going for dojo. So a lot of you guys gonna say dojo requires a lot of time. Exactly, that's why I put it in the hard mode for those of you guys who don't know. All you need to do is do dojo every week. You get points, right? Um, just do until like 10 rounds or, or just do until go in the first round get out. Of course, you get lesser points, but 10 rounds, right? Then you can talk to this guy every week. Then you buy the special mode, uh, Medal of Honor first. First week, you buy this one. Then you get 10K Owner EXP. Then after that second week, right? You buy this one. All right, so second you buy this one. So this item over here, because this item is untradeable, so you use it, you get 10K points, EXP. Then after that, the second you buy this one, 
you convert 10k owner man uh, owner points over here to a tradable one so, right you will become a tradable owner uh exp uh, medal over here so let's take a look at how much does it sell right so all you need to do is go to the auction house as always you can go to over here and click on auction house and search for owner medal of owner guaranteed by mugo 22 mil everybody good messos so of course it's gonna take a lot of time you have to do it every uh every two weeks right first week you gotta do it is just to get the points second week you gotta do it to convert the points to sell it over here so it is like a returning process right you can do it on all your characters depends on your time right and effort it's gonna take you a lot of time it's hard but messos is good right good all right Okay, so now this is the sixth way of farming a mass source, right? Of course, this way is gonna be in the hard mode also because I'm gonna put this at the hard because most of the time you will need to use your cubes, right? And also most of the time you need to use your flames. So normal suspicious cubes drop from e-bosses, drop from uh, uh, basically normal bosses. Any bosses that is over here will drop basically suspicious cubes. And also for additional uh, potential suspicious additional uh, cubes, right? Potential cubes, they drop from hard bosses or even normal boss only. And also flames you can also get from e-bosses. Very simple to find e-bosses. When you look at the map over here, for example, I'm in Arkin River, right? I can just scroll around and see, hey, which of the map have any e-boss significant icons? If there is any e-boss, they will show up as e-boss icon over there. But let's take a look at how much do each of the cubes sell, right? So for example, I'm gonna go for cube, right? Uh, okay, purple cubes that drop from um, uh, e bosses, right? Um, which is over here, which sells for 94 mil. So most of them expires in a week. So you have to basically sell them if you don't want to use it. And for example, if you go for, yes, yellow cubes also expires in a week. And also, you can also see that it should be suspicious cubes. Yes, suspicious cubes go for 77 mil. So if you were to do a lot of bossing, right? You don't need any cubes anymore. You have extra, sell them, right? Sell them for mesos. Then uh, also, yeah, suspicious additional cubes. That's why I say party up. No matter you get those boss crystals or not, if you are in a party, you can distribute this and sell them at 77 mil and distribute to the whole party. You get good mesos, everybody, right? So all of this, you can basically get mesos from this. And also not to forget about the flames, right? Flames also plays an important role because flames, you can also get them from e-bosses, right? You can get this flame also, it expires in a week, so you gotta sell them fast, right? 17 mil if you get a Crimson Resurrection Flame, and if you were to go for uh, Rainbow Resurrection Flame, it's 42 mil, alright? As always, the, the, the methods will basically vary, depends on your server, right? Um, yeah, but it's still methods, everybody, right? Good methods. If you don't need it, sell it. But if you need it, use it first. So this is gonna be in the hard tier because if you are higher level, you are uh, fully equipped with your equips, you have a little room to spare, you can basically start selling all this for more mesos, okay? Alright, so the number 7th way of farming mesos will be Ursus, everybody. So, for example, you get double mesos time during 8 to 10 p.m on the server so there will be a guy popping up over here hey we have double mesos time time to kill ursus there but then you go and kill ursus everybody a lot of people neglected this and says that oh ursus nobody's doing with the party quest right nobody's doing with me it is time to party up and find your people to do it right i still do ursus every day until i don't know when <laughs> until i don't need mesos right you get approximately 5.7 mil at level 200. The higher level you go, the more mesos you're gonna get. And the higher rank you go, the more mesos you're gonna get. So at S rank at level 200, you're gonna get like 5.7 to 5.9 mil. And at level uh, 250, uh, you get SSS rank, right? Um, basically, you're gonna get like 10 mil, right? 10 mil mesos per run, right? You can do three runs per day. Imagine you get three runs of SSS, you get 30 mil already, my God. Right, okay, to, in order to get SSS rank, what you need to do, this is my special trick, right? 
It's gonna be very difficult, right? Uh, for, I'm gonna put this in the medium tier for Ursus, right? Um, for SSS friend, you gotta save at least uh, one people that is being thrown up by Ursus that's dropping down, right? You gotta get one, save one of them. Then you gotta save the people at the ground that is dead. At least save one of them. And you get to be the highest damage dealer in the whole team, right? In the whole of Ursus. Then you basically be able, able to get SS or SSS, all right? It's a high chance of getting SS. And it's a slight chance of getting SSS, but it's still high, right? So that's my tips and tricks on getting SSS. So for example, get on the party, talk to this guy, Monsieur over here, challenge with 18 people. You can do three times per day. Just go in and kill it, right? Very good man sauce. And you can also get the ETCs, right? So talk to Aisha over here. You can use these ETCs to basically uh, buy spell tracers, owner medals, a clean state scroll, flames. Of course, these are not tradable, but you can basically use this, get uh, get the owner, and you can basically you use the, the dojo one and sell them. So epic potential scroll and etc. Right? There are a lot of items over here that you can basically get. So this is Ursus. Remember to do Ursus during uh, Mesos time at 8 to 10 p.m. Party up your team, do Ursus, right? A lot, a lot of Mesos. Do not forget about that. Okay, now we are going in to the most lucrative way of farm Mesos. This is event based, right? As a free to play player, it's gonna be event based, okay? Do you know why? Because if you have events, you can get damage skins, everybody. Let's have a look at all these damage skins over here, which I can't click on my character. There we go. Right, so we look at all these damage skins over here. What you gonna do with it? You sell them. <laughs> I like selling damage skins as always, right? Um, all those damage skins cause a lot of mess sauce. I gotta tell you that. For example, if you can use a damage skin extractor to extract the damage skin out and you can sell them because these are tradable, right? So basically all you need to do is just go to the auction house as always, right? Check out the damage skin, right? Take a look at the damage skin. Also, according to server, the amount of mesos you can get by selling damage skin, my man. Now, look at this. Good mesos. People buy damage skins, I tell you. Let's take a look at the sold one. Look at this. Look at this price. People buy them for 1.5 billion mesos, right? Depends on your server, of course, right? Um, see, people buy these damage skins. They do buy them. So basically, you get random damage skin box from the events on the coin shop, right? Then you sell them. You sell them to the NPCs. Uh, no, 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 sell them to the NPC. You sell them to the auction house. Your boy is high over here, right? You sell them to the auction house. Very simple, right? Uh, for example, I were to go into uh, the event map right now over here. There will be random, uh, be a lot of event maps and random damage skin box coming. Don't worry, right? So, for example, you go into uh, find a random damage skin box, right? Origami damage skin. Let's take a look at how much this origami damage skin over here, right? So you get this item, you use the damage skin extractor, go to the uh, maple auction house, right? So you search for damage skin origami. There we go. Wow. Clap, everybody, clap. This is the origami damage skin. So let's take a look at the last sold one. 980 mil. Depends on your server, okay? Good method. So this is another lucrative way of farming it. But of course, you have to farm a lot of coins. That's why this is gonna be in the medium tier. All right, I'm gonna put this in the medium tier because you can farm coins on your characters, right? Other characters except your main, right? Your main one focus on your uh, items that you need, like flames or coins or any uh, other items, right? Or cores, right? So these are the items you need to focus on for your main. If you have already all of those items, get the symbols. If you don't have it, sell the damage skin, everybody. Sell them. Sell all the damage skin, right? There we go. Sell damage skin. Okay, now moving on to the easiest one of all. <laughs> right. All you need to do is talk to the NPC over here, the weekly quest over here, right? If you do the weekly quest, you'll be able to get a 
this item over here, which is the A grade call from Haven, or you can also go and do the uh, world, Dark World Tree one, which is over here. You just go to the Dark World Tree one, I'm gonna show you guys. Do the weekly quest over here, and you can basically get the Faded Braid Soul Stone. You can sell them. <laughs> So, a lot of people don't really do the weekly quest because they are lazy. But if you are hard working enough, all you need to do is just sell them. So, A grade, right? So, for example, A grade costs, A grade costs sell for 6 mil, depending on your server as always. 6 mil. So, for example, if you were to get it, just sell it, right? Sell it, sell it. And also, if you want to go for, uh, the faded, uh, what do you call it? Faded brand soul stone. Right, four mil. Because the A grade call is relatively difficult to get, the quest is a bit difficult. But for this one, uh, this one is gonna be easy. Just kill him off, right? And uh, getting ETCs. Very nice indeed. Very easy indeed, right? This is the easiest tier to farm Mesos, also. Okay, now we are gonna take a look at crafting, right? Very simple. All you need to do is sell all of these items away. <laughs> so all these items you can get from uh, uh, herbal, uh, basically uh, mining, and also get from uh, uh, being a herbalism and also alchemy. You can also sell this boss uh, potions and also EXP potions, right? Let's take a look at how much they are basically selling at. So let's go to the auction house as always, consumable. Let's take a look at alchemy item. Let's go and search for all. Let's take a look at this. The attack potions cost for 18 mil. Depends on your server as always. And wealth potion, 9 mil. EXP potion, 14 mil. Right, if you were to craft all of this, you can sell them for Mesos, even boss potions. Boss potions are the highly recommended one to sell, right? Because a lot of people are gonna do bosses and a lot of people are gonna buy them. Very nice Mesos indeed. And for example, you were to sell, um, you were to sell ETC's item for a uh, profession, right? You can get them from anyone. And for example, if you have equips that you do not uh, need, extract the item out and you can get this superior item crystal. We will buy them for crafting also, right? Um, very nice indeed, you can also sell them. And all this, you get drops from uh, basically uh, crafting and digging up, uh, digging up flowers around the map, right? Basically, you can get this and sell them. These are all good methods. Right? And also, there's the next thing. This one requires also in the hard mode itself. Because this one not many people will do. In the hard mode itself, you can also sell Meister Signet Ring. Meister Signet Ring is very difficult to craft because you are required to have and maintain a level 12, right? Or a level 11 and level 12 or both, right? To craft this ring itself, right? So you have to maintain your crafting and basically craft this ring. And you cannot uh, you cannot craft it like always. You have to wait for the cooldown for 15 minutes or you can craft it. And to maintain this one is actually very difficult, right? In level 10, you have to keep crafting level 8 items and above. Every day you need to craft at least one level 8 item or above. Uh, if you do not craft for like approximately 22 hours, the first hour you will drop 50 EXP, the second hour you will drop uh, multiplied by 5 until it drops to level 0. For basically, if you do not do any of them, you look at my uh, look at my crafting over here, it will be a level uh, level 10. So if you want to get to level 12, you have to keep crafting, you have to keep making equips. In order to do that, you have to keep making equips and to basically sell the Mr. Signal Ring. Rings are very difficult to craft, so basically it's a very difficult thing to do. But if you have the time, you can do it. I don't really do it because this requires a lot of time. I will basically do most of my other farming itself. Right. Okay, now. We are almost coming to an end, right? These few items 
are very difficult to get and they are very subjective to your character. I'm going to stress this because this is very important. These two items are cores and arcane river droplets, okay? Cores will basically you be using it for your V matrix. Make sure you max all your V matrix skill first before you sell the cores, okay? Do not sell them if your skills are not maxed because your skills are very important for damage. Your damage will basically be added to doing bossing to getting more mesos for the boss crystals, all right? So, after you get all this, you already max all your cores, right? Because most of the cores drop from bosses or mobs are untradeable, right? So basically, you gotta talk to Leon over here. You can basically craft your core gemstone. Once you craft it, right? You craft your core gemstone, it will become tradable. Core gemstones that are tradable cause a lot of messes. A lot. Right, core gemstone 25 mil each depends on your server. Good muscles, everybody. So, for example, if you don't need any more cores, you already max all of that. Sell all your full cores, sell them, sell all of them. Good muscles, okay. All right, so now this comes down to the last part of farming vessels okay we are going to sell arcane river droplets so for this one is only going to be in the hard mode everybody so i'm gonna stress this first if you need the droplet do not sell them because the droplet can basically get an arcane river uh with an arcane river droplet you can basically get a coin so those coin you can buy your arcane weapon Right, so if you really have an arcing weapon or you do not plan to buy any arcing weapon at all, I strongly suggest you buy them, right? Right, so for example, if you already bought them, you don't know where to spend them on, you already got all your equips over here, your your, your head, your, your, your uh, uh, shoulder already, you sell them, right? You sell the droplet. So how much does the droplet cost over here? You just go to the auction house. Everything is in the auction house. So arcane, arcane river water droplet cost 92 mil each, man. It's a good method. So provided you do not need them, okay? So make sure you do not need them, only you sell them. These are all good methods. Very difficult to drop. They only drops on arcane river mobs, right? That's why it's very, very difficult to drop, okay? So these are the items that you can basically sell. And um, they also uh, they are also basically exchangeable for the uh, arcane weapon, the best weapon in the game, except there was also the Genesis one. So let's then take a look at Genesis one first. But this one is currently one of the best set, right? So, well, that's basically it. All right, I think we have come to the end of the video, everybody. Well, so uh, I hope you get some insights on how basically I found Mesos, uh, my tips and tricks on my secrets of farming Mesos in the, in the game, right? Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe as always, much appreciated. And if you have any comments or any questions, or if you have any suggestions that you think that your way is much faster, Leave it in the comment section below, share it with everybody so we can basically learn from it also, right? Uh, as always, there are a lot of ways to farm muscles, but uh, for me, I'm playing so many servers, right? You don't know that I play in so many servers. These are my fastest way of farming muscles because I don't really play on a dedicated server most of the time, so I need to get muscles quick, right? So when I get muscles quick, these are the ways that I can think of, and they are like, mm fast right this i need it fast so there's other ways as a free to play player like me <laughs> there's other ways to farm it of course you need to dedicate uh, a lot of time and effort into the game but well work on it slowly work on your pace as always right uh, i also have a equipment video i also have a, a training video you can check it out in the links in the comment section below all right um if you have any uh, comments just leave it in the comment section below i'll be taking a look at it right now as always Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay awesome, everybody. Bye-bye.